all of you crypto traders out there i don't know which one you're using i don't know what platform you're using but let me tell you which one i use and i consider the best right now so i think i might have stumbled on another good app or which i consider my best right now for trading in cryptocurrencies and i thought that maybe let me just make a video and maybe make a review of this app show you how to use it and just let you know that you could actually buy and sell that easy from this app so let's talk about that in this video so hola to all the new people in the house my name is harris carry if you're new to this channel we talk about personal finance and personal branding on this channel anything that has to do with making multiple sources of income for yourself so that you won't have to rely on just one source of income so if that sounds like something interesting to you or something you might be interested in consider subscribing to this channel so you'll never miss any video again from me since the ban of trading in cryptocurrency is somewhat uh, beginning of this year, you know, I actually made a rant video where I talked about that. Trading in cryptocurrency hasn't been that easy and most people have always been having issues using this P2P trading or you ask someone to send you the coins and you send them cash, you know, from through your accounts and stuff like that. Sometimes you kind of have encounters with bad eggs and you end up being frustrated and maybe losing money before you even trade in the cryptocurrency and a lot of people have complained and you know due to that some people have even decided not to trade again decided not to even look at the market anymore so in this video i just wanted to share with you an app that i found which is kind of my best right now because it's really easy and they made it very seamless to have your funds in your account to buy or trade in cryptocurrency so without wasting much time the name of the app is bundle Bundle is an African cryptocurrency trading platform where you can actually fund your account using some third-party applications like Cashlink, which is also kind of a P2P trading app. But in this sense, they made it very easy and also very secured in order for you not to lose your money to any scam. So without wasting much time, let's go ahead and check out the app so you guys can also be able to trade as soon as possible. And before we move on, if you also want to download the app and follow me on this as we go, click on my referral link in the description of this video to download the app instantly. So let's go ahead and check out the app. So once you log into the app after the whole registration and everything, I'm going to have to skip the registration for this video because you know it's something easy you could actually do it by yourself. So after the whole registration and everything, you submit the whole requirements and everything that they ask you for, you will end up in your home page as displayed here. Once you come up here and you know you've done all your KYC and everything, you're ready to go. So you just go ahead and check the top right angle of your phone. You see add cash with a plus sign there. So click on that and that will take you to another page where it will ask you the kind of option that you want to use to deposit money into your account. So you'll see there are three different methods to use here. There's one which is fund with cash link. There's a second one fund with cash and there's a third one fund with BUSD. So as you can see, fund with cash isn't visible because I think, you know, the whole restrictions and everything, but don't you worry about that. You could go ahead and click on fund with cash link. So this is the app I was telling you about because it is very easy to use. Let's say, for example, I want to deposit like 10,000 into my account right now. So I'll just go ahead and type in 10,000 Naira. Then I'll click on next right up here. So for the first time when you go in there, they'll ask you for your bank, your account number and other stuff I think. So go ahead and input that and have it ready to use. So that's just for you to set up your payment option, you know, the card or maybe the bank accounts that you want to be using to deposit money into your account. So after you do that and you set up your bank accounts and uh, bank name, so you just go ahead and click on that bank account. So it will show you different options or maybe different people who are willing to sell the amounts that you're looking for to your account so you can see there there's the name of the person which is paid by you see the name there then also there beside the name there's under you know so so minutes that's to show you how long it will take for the transaction to happen you know that's like the maximum time it will take so as you can see up there you'll send 10,000 naira and the one in the brackets 100 naira fees that is the fee that you would pay to that person for the transaction because you know he, the person would be sending into your accounts directly and you wouldn't have to you know use cash or anything so the 100 naira is just a fee for them sending into your accounts and they'll send it directly into your uh, bundle account 
and right under that you see the number of orders that person have successfully transacted in so as you can see for this one they have like 1291 orders that they have successfully transacted with other people and also there's something with the percentage of completion that you see right there so that's to show you how trusted that person is this person's completion rates is around 74.91 percent that is to show you that that person has transacted with other people almost 80 percent successfully so you can go ahead and check others too as well you could see the number of orders they have uh, transacted in you could see the completion rates you see their name right there and also the amount of time that it will take for them to transact into your account and also the fees differ so if you check through you will see some fees might be more than just the hundred naira you can see there but most of the times you see you know it's hundred naira because you know some people are just that humble and that kind so anyway when you're ready and you find the one that you want to transact with you could go ahead and just click on that person so it will show you this confirm request it will show you the amounts that you're about to transact and also it will show you the person's name they're using on this app and they'll show you the payment method that person is using so once you click on send deposit requests it will ask that person to send you a 10,000 naira worth of whatever it is that you're asking them to send but in this case we're asking them to send a narrow equivalent of that in our account once you check under that make payment when you scroll down there you see the time has already started counting time to deposit so within that time they would want you to send the money into that person's account so that the person will be able to send you the amount into your account on bundle so as you can see here we're trying to send 10,000 to this person so you can see there the bank is go money that's the account that the person is using from uh, the account name is Ali Saidu. So make sure you take note of that account name because when you're trying to transact and that name doesn't appear as the name in the account name, don't send that amount to that person because maybe it might be a fraud or maybe it might be you know something a mistake or something like that. Just don't send it. You know you could also you could go ahead and choose another person. So once you get to this place, you can just go ahead and click on these two squares and it will copy the account number into your phone so the reference number some of them ask reference numbers but don't worry about that so once you copy the account number you can go ahead and use your bank app or maybe your ussd code or whichever one you prefer if it's the bank you want to go to and deposit into that person's account just do it and deposit that 10,000 naira exactly that you want to send to that person so once you do that and you're sure that the amount has been sent and deposited into the person's account and you've been debited that amount you can go ahead and come here click on I have paid once you click on I have paid it will tell the person that this person have paid the amount and also if they have received the alert of your transaction they would be able to send you that money directly into your account through the cash link so just in case I always like to do this so I will just save the receipts of that transaction and forward it to that person using the media from the chat screen in cash link so once you click on contact partner it will ask you to maybe chat with the person on the cash link app or maybe call the person or maybe contact them on any of the social media that they added so once you do that and you close the cash link app and you get back to your bundle you would see the amounts right there or maybe after refreshing a page you would see the amount showing right there on your screen it might take maybe some few minutes like two minutes or three minutes depending on how long that person said you know a transaction takes maybe five minutes six minutes so depending on that time it will definitely reflect in your account and then you'll be able to buy any cryptocurrency that you want to buy which is listed on this application so let's say for example okay let's just say ada for example so you want to buy ada you want to like you know get some amount of ada so you can go ahead and just click on buy because if you have some money in your account that will be showing in that choose local currency the ngn so just click on that and type in the amounts that you want to buy that's the uh the one under so type in the amount you want to buy so just in case before i forget when the amount comes into your account it would show as 9900 because that 100 naira of that person's fee amount would be deducted from that 10 10,000 naira that you sent to them so don't be scared you know it's just 100 naira that you're supposed to pay them so once you come here you just type in the amount that you want to buy let's say uh, 9,000 naira and you just click on next and that's all if you have the account if you have the if you have the amount in your account it will definitely buy the cryptocurrency for you and then you would be able to own that cryptocurrency on this app so at any time you want to sell you can be able to sell and make profit from whatever coin that you have bought.
so guys i hope this video is helpful to you and also question of the day let me know what app you're using right now to buy and sell cryptocurrency and guys don't mind the headphones right now that i'm wearing because i am actually hosting a clubhouse room right now so i just had to you know finish everything in time and be able to start hosting okay make sure you like subscribe and if this helped you a lot and you think you benefit from this channel don't forget to subscribe to this channel and i'll see you in the very next video cheers yeah, yeah i can hear you i can hear you so i learned that you know when you kind of have a calendar on the calendar you have the time to work for them and you also have time to work for yourself and most importantly you have time to rest <laughs> you really need it